For more anatomy related videos please subscribe to my channel, Learn with Dr. Tanya Hashik. Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the nasal cavity. We will discuss about the features of the external nose in another video. Nasal cavity, it extends from the external nose to the posterior nasal aperture. So, this is the external nose or the nostrils. So, it extends from the external nose to the posterior nasal aperture. So, it is about 7 cm in length. And the height of the cavity, it is about 5 cm in length. And this nasal cavity, it is divided into right and left half by the nasal septum. That is, we have two nostrils and so they are divided by means of a nasal septum and it divides the no nose into right and left half. So each half it has got a roof, a floor, it has got a median wall and also a lateral wall. In this figure you cannot see that, you can only see the roof and also the floor. So first we will discuss about the roof of the nasal cavity. So the roof of the nasal cavity it is about 7 cm in length and about 2 mm wide. And it has got an anterior slope, a posterior slope and also a middle horizontal part. So this anterior slope, it is formed by the nasal part of the frontal bone. So this is the frontal bone. So the nasal part of the frontal bone, the nasal bone and also nasal cartilages. These are involved in the formation of the anterior slope. And the middle horizontal part, it is formed by the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. So, cribriform plate of the ethmoid, it forms the horizontal part. And the posterior slope, it is formed by the inferior part of the body of the sphenoid. So, inferior part of the body of the sphenoid, it forms the posterior slope of the roof of the nasal cavity. So, next is the floor. So, the floor of the nasal cavity, this is the nasal cavity. So, the floor of the nasal cavity, it forms the roof of the oral cavity. That is, here you can, there is the oral cavity. So, it forms the roof of the oral cavity. So, this is the roof of the oral cavity and the floor of the nasal cavity. So, they are formed by two bones. That is the horizontal plate of the palatine bone and also the palatine process of maxilla. So, these two bones are involved in the formation of the floor of the nasal cavity. That is the horizontal plate of the palatine bone and also the palatine process of maxilla. So, these two form the floor of the nasal cavity. And the floor of the nasal cavity, it is about 5 cm long and 1.5 cm wide. Next is the medial and the lateral wall. So, we will discuss about the lateral wall in detail in another section. So, today we will discuss about the nasal septum that is the medial wall of the nose. That is the nasal septum. It divides the nose into right and left half. So, this is the nasal septum. So, this nasal septum, it is a osseocartilaginous structure. That is, it has got a bony part and also the cartilaginous part. In this figure I have separated the bony and cartilaginous part with different colors so that you can understand it more easily. So the bony part it is formed by the warmer bone, the perpendicular plate of ethmoid and the borders are formed by the tribriform plate of the ethmoid, nasal spine of the frontal bone, the nasal crust and rostrum of Spinoid. So, these are also involved in the formation of the bony part of the septum. And the cartilaginous part, it is formed by the septal cartilage as well as the septal process of the inferior nasal cartilage. So, the cartilaginous part, it is formed by the septal cartilage and also the septal process of the inferior nasal cartilage. And this nasal septum, it has got four borders as well as two surfaces. So, the four borders that is anterior border, the posterior border, the superior border and also the inferior border. And the two surfaces are the right and the left surfaces. So, in this figure you cannot see the surfaces, you can see the borders. So, now we will discuss about the blood supply 
to the nasal septum. So, the antero superior part it is supplied by the anterior ethmoidal and the posterior ethmoidal artery. So, the antero superior part of the nasal septum it is supplied by anterior ethmoidal and the posterior ethmoidal artery, and the antero inferior part it is supplied by the superior labial branch of the facial artery, and the posterior superior part it is supplied by the spinothalatine artery and the posterior inferior part it is supplied by the greater palatine artery so the anterior superior part it is supplied by the anterior and the posterior ethmoidal artery the anterior inferior part is supplied by the superior labial branch of the facial artery the Posterior superior part it is supplied by the sphenopalatine artery and the posterior inferior part it is supplied by the greater palatine artery. And in the anterior inferior part these arteries that is the anterior ethmoidal artery, the superior labial branch of the facial artery, the greater palatine and the sphenopalatine arteries these together form a plexus and that plexus is called as the kissel bash plexus that is a kiesel blash plexus and this is uh, one of the important plexus which is present in the nose and it is a common site for bleeding and this area is called as the littles area next is the venous drainage that is the veins they form plexus in the littles area and the plexus it drains anteriorly to the facial vein and posteriorly to the sphenopalatine vein to the pterygoid venous plexus. So anteriorly it drains into the facial vein and posteriorly to the sphenopalatine vein. So next is the nerve supply. So the general sensory nerves it arises from the trigeminal nerve and it is distributed to the whole septum and the anterior Superior part it is supplied by the anterior ethmoidal nerve. The antero inferior part it is supplied by the anterior superior alveolar nerve. The posterior superior part it is supplied by the medial posterior superior nasal branch of the pterygopalatine ganglion. And the posterior inferior part it is supplied by the nasopalatine branch of the pterygopalatine ganglion. So these are the nerve supply. So next is the lymphatic drainage. The anterior half it drains to the submandibular nodes and the posterior half it drains into the retropharyngeal and the deep cervical nodes. So the anterior half it drains to the submandibular nodes and the posterior half it drains to the retropharyngeal and also deep cervical nodes. So today we discuss about the nasal cavity, the roof floor, the medial and the lateral wall and also the nasal septum, the blood supply, the nerve supply etc. So this is the end of today's video. This is the end of today's video. For more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.